I'm going to post other questions uh, from this question paper. Uh, so make sure you subscribe uh, so that you don't miss any of that. Um, so let's look at the question we have here. Uh, it says an 8 kg block on a rough horizontal surface is connected to a 2 kg block by a light inextensible string passing over a frictionless pulley. As shown below, the 8 kg block moves at a constant speed. Um, so when we hear constant speed, uh, we know that um, the acceleration uh, is equal to 0 uh, meter per second squared, right? Uh, so this implies that um, the F net acting is equal to 0. Um, and then it goes on to say when uh, pulled by a 29.6 Newton horizontal force to the right, uh, the frictional force acting on the AKG block is 10 Newton. Uh, there we have it. Uh, the first question says, uh, state Newton's second law in terms of motion. Um, as we mean that you already uh, know what that is, so I'm just going to move on. Uh, we have 2.2. 2.2 says, uh, draw a labeled free body diagram for the 8 kg block. Uh, so if you have went through questions like this, I'd advise you to pause and then do the question by yourself, and then you then watch me do it. Um, so uh, the free body diagram on the 8 kg block. Okay, there we have the 8 kg block uh, sliding on the horizontal surface. Uh, because it's lying on a surface, uh, the surface is exerting a normal force upright. Yeah, so there we have it. And then uh, gravitational force is always acting. Yeah, so we're going to have uh, Fg or W for weight, uh, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, we have our force. Uh, that is being applied there of uh, 29.6 newton so i'm going to put that there and then um they say that friction is acting uh, so we're gonna have um fr and then it is also it's it's connected to a 2 kg uh block through a string so we have uh tension right so i'm just gonna put it there so yeah there we have it uh, those are the forces acting on the 8 kg block um the tension and the frictional is equal to the f that is being applied right and thus it is moving at a, a constant speed like like they stated um so let's carry on uh, let's move ahead uh says um 2.3 conclude the tension in the string um so let's look at the 8 kg block. Uh, so let's say 8 kg block. Um, I'm not choosing 8 kg, the 8 kg block because it's uh, the one I like the most. Uh, 8 is not my favorite number. I'm choosing it. Uh, I'm just trying it out. I will write all the given information for the 8 kg block and then see if I get to the answer. If I don't get to the answer, I'll then use the 2 kg block. So I'm not choosing the 8 kg block because I like it so much. But then usually in questions like this, if you have a 2.1, the answer for 2.1 uh, helps you answer 2.2 and the one from 2.2 help you answer 2.3. So because 2.2 uh, says at uh, the free body diagram of the 8 kg block, it's most likely that uh, 2.3 you will be using the 8 kg block. But then let's just go ahead and see. So um, the law we're sticking to is Newton's second law of motion, obviously. So we're going to have F net. Um, okay. F net uh, equals to mass uh, multiplied by acceleration. And then uh, we also know that F net is equal to uh, the first force, uh, the second force, and then um, some force N, right? So what are the forces acting on the horizontal on the 8 kg block? We know that uh, from 2.2, we have the force applied and uh, we have the tension and then we have the friction. So if we uh, write that down, we're going to have uh, this force, which is being applied uh, plus the tension force uh, plus the frictional force uh, equals to um, 8 kg multiplied by zero, right? Uh, because that is, uh, we have an acceleration of zero because it is moving at constant speed. So what is F? F is given to us is 29.6. Uh, what is T? Uh, T is our 
our variable of interest so there we have t there and then plus uh, friction right uh, friction opposes the motion uh, it's opposing the motion like the tension so we're gonna put a negative value there it says that the frictional force is 10 newton so we're gonna have minus 10 uh, equals to zero right so 29.6 minus 10 uh, that is 19.6 so we're gonna have 19.6 uh, plus t equals to zero uh take 19.6 to the other side you get uh, t equals to minus 19.6 six um newton uh which makes sense because t is opposing the motion so it's supposed to have a negative value um so let's move ahead uh for 2.4 they say that uh the force we have is now increased to uh, 15 newton right so uh, we're gonna have f equals to 15 newton and then there we have it uh, and 2.4.1 uh, 2.4 says apply Newton second law to each block and calculate them. Uh, 2.4.1 then says a magnitude of the acceleration of the 8 kg block. Uh, okay, so let's start with the 8 kg block and see if we can get uh, the acceleration using the 8 kg block only. And then if we cannot, then we'll then involve the 2 kg block. But then let's start with the 8 kg block. Uh, so the 8 kg block. Uh, we're sticking to the basics. Uh, we know that F net uh, equals to MA. Uh, this is equals to uh, the, all, the sum of all the forces acting on the object. Uh, so from F1 to some Fn, N being any number of the forces we have. So uh, F1, uh, the force being applied, uh, 15 Newton. Uh, there we have it. And then uh, we have tension opposing. Uh, so we have uh, minus minus t and then we have um, the frictional force which is said to be 10 newton right uh, so that is uh, minus uh, 10 um, and then it goes to 8 uh, multiplied by acceleration right um, um, and then okay two point okay and then this will be our equation one because now we have two variables right so we need another equation if you have three variables you make sure you get three equations if you have four you get four equations and then you can solve so another uh, <coughs> equation will get it by using the 2kg block uh, the question sort of gives it away because it says apply Newton's second law to each block but then even if it doesn't say that if you're trying to find acceleration and tension and then you find yourself in a situation where you have two variables you have to use the other mass or the other block the other whatsoever to find the second equation and then you can solve simultaneously so let's go ahead uh, for the 2kg block uh, for the 2kg block um, there's two forces acting at uh, the tension and gravity so um, we're gonna have uh, the tension uh, uh, minus uh, gravity uh, which is equals to ma right um, the mass is 2 kg, so let me just go ahead and put 2 and then that's been multiplied by A, which we don't know what it is and then our T equals to uh, minus uh, FG is the mass multiplied by 9,8, right? so there we have it, uh, this is equals to uh, 2A so we're going to have T uh, minus 19.6 equals to uh, 2A uh, this is our equation uh, two. Uh, some people like complicating their lives. Uh, they, 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 they want to solve this simultaneously by making t the subject of the formula and then substitute on the other equation. But then the way I like doing it is like on the first equation. Uh, look at this part. We have minus t, right? And then on the second equation we have t. So if you add these two equations, t is gonna disappear. And then you're gonna actually it's not gonna going to disappear that's technically wrong uh, they're going to cancel out so you're gonna be left with only a and then you can just solve for acceleration so let me practice what i preach uh, so equation two plus equation one uh, will give you so i'm adding two to one uh, so i'm gonna have uh, 50 uh, minus t uh, minus 10 uh, plus um okay let me yeah and then t uh, minus 19.6 uh, then that's it 
equals to 8a uh, plus um, 2a. Um, this is equation uh, 1 and then I'm adding a uh, equation uh, 2. Okay, um, so T and T are going to uh, cancel out like you see. So here on this side, I'm going to be left with I'm going to be left with uh, 50 uh, minus 10 uh, minus 19,6 plus to uh, 10a. Uh, this implies that um, a equals to uh, 50 uh, minus 10 minus 19,6 uh, divided by 10. Uh, let me put that into my calculator real quick. So 50 minus 10 will give you 40. Uh, minus 9,6 uh, minus 19,6 uh, divided by 10 and then I'm getting an acceleration of uh, 2.04 uh, meters per second um, squared yeah so th there you have it uh, that's how you solve this problem uh, let's carry on uh, last but not least 2.4.2 uh, says so complete the tension uh, in the st in the string, uh, we have uh, this equation one here. Um, there you have it, and then we have this equation two here, and then we're supposed to find uh, acceleration. So we can just sub in as the t we found on two point four point one in any of these equations. Um, the second equations looks a bit um simple. It's, it's easy on the eye. It doesn't look as complicated as the first one. So let's sub a t on the second equation. So we have uh, t uh, minus 19,6 equals to 2a. So t equals to 2. We're saying that a is 2.04, right? And then we add 19.6. Um, um, let me put that in my calculator real quick. Um, 2 multiplied by 2.04 uh, plus 19,6. Uh, that gives me... Uh, 23 uh, 0.68 uh, Newton and that's it for this um, for this problem uh, we're done with it uh, make sure you subscribe I'm going to post other questions uh, from this question paper uh, the May June uh, from 2021.